It's Ideasphere with journalist and author Gerald Moore. Life story. If you're a journalist and you have trained yourself over years to be a journalist and to think about things journalistically, when they change the formula and say, no, we're not going to think journalistically anymore, we're going to think about saving money, your instincts go away. In his book, Life Story, The Education of an American Journalist, Gerald Moore tells of his rise from reporter for Life magazine and eventually editor. During his career, Moore covered major stories of the late 1960s and early 70s, stories Americans now read about in their history books, assassinations, experiments with LSD, the My Lai Massacre, and noteworthy presidential campaigns. You know, I thought that newspapers and magazines were like mountains of granite. They were never going to go away. They were always going to be sort of what they were. So I'm not sure that anybody in the newspaper business really understood in the early 60s what was down the road for them. I think the people that were doing big picture magazines like Life and Look and others understood the threat from television. But no one foresaw the Internet and the absolute devastation, really, of of print journalism. That was one of the things about Life magazine, certainly before television, there really was no other place to see what was going on in the world. If you wanted to see World War II, you pretty much had to look at Life magazine. Let's talk about the publication of the pictures of the My Lai Massacre. That was heavy-duty journalism, as far as I'm concerned. It yeah. was, that was one of the more sensitive and important stories that I handled. I was an editor by that time. I was the senior editor in running the news department. And I got a call one day, as you do, from a guy in Cleveland who said, we've got some pictures of this massacre that happened in Vietnam. And if they were to be believed, it was clear that someone had killed a lot of children, women, old men, just willy-nilly slaughtered a whole lot of people who were clearly not in any way threatening anybody. They were unarmed and so forth. So there were several questions. One was, are these photographs real? Were they what they purport to be? And secondly, what is the impact of printing these pictures in the middle of the war in a magazine like Life? And that led to some very serious and, I think, profound discussions about journalism and its impact and its role and its relationship to the nation and to patriotism and those other things. We, of course, ultimately printed the pictures. We didn't put it on the cover, which I think was the right decision. Um, yeah. you know. and, and you write that even if life had survived, you would not have stayed. Well, when the economics of the magazine got worse every year, and I felt the things that they were doing to try to save it, we're actually destroying it. My guest has been author and journalist Gerald Moore. Life Story, The Education of an American Journalist. Check out his website at authorgeraldmoore.com.